Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikwa. Today I'm going to review a product, a nail product, and I decided to do this Color Club Mood Changing Dip Powder Kit. I thought that this would be a cool like nail product kit to try out for you guys. But if you haven't already, go down below and subscribe to YouTube channel and also like this video. But other than that, let's get started with this video. And lock your way so we can break about the so as I was cruising down the nail aisles of Walmart, looking at nail products as I always do, I found this nail product kit from Color Club and it's like their mood changing dip powder kit. So it claims to have a 21 day wear at home. I might even do that 21 day wear test. And this kit right here is their confetti cake starter kit. So let's open the box. There is a bounding gloss. Then there is instant activator. Then it's their brush cleanser. And then you get to have two color changing colors, the dip powders. And the first one is pale green and it's called traffic jamming. That should go from a light to a dark green or dark from a light green and then there's one that really gets me excited is like this a peachy color to a pink and that one is called old soul and right underneath everything else is a big thick filer to do all the good stuff so I decided to test out this product two different ways. I decided what this product will look like on fake nails, but also what it looks like on my short natural nails as well. So let's start with the instructions. Step one is you want to wash your hands with soap and water and you want to dry thoroughly. Step two, you want to use a medium side of the included buffer to gently remove the shine from your natural nails. On the buffer, it's not really labeled, that it's the medium side they all kind of like feels like a little bit rougher but they all kind of feel kind of like the same step three you want to remove any of the dust wipe the surface of each nail and optionally you can use alcohol wipes to help with the bonding or use like um, nail polish remover step four you want to apply the bond gloss to your first nail brush lightly with a medium pressure to ensure an even application Step five, after applying the bond gloss, dip your finger into the powder using a scooping motion like this, and then tap your finger against the edge of the jar to remove the excess powder off the nail. Step six, repeat steps four through five the first hand. Step seven, you want to apply a generous amount of instant activator on all five fingers of the first hand. Be sure to cover edges and cap off the tips of the nails. Allow it to dry for one minute. We spent our days on the coast of something beautiful. We got pulled into the tide of something real. Step eight, you're gonna to want to repeat the steps for four through seven onto the second hand. Once dry, you wanna shape the nails with the file. Number 10, you wanna use the buffer to smooth out the surface of the nails. Rinse the hands with water, no soap. Dry hands and nails thoroughly. Step 11, you want to apply another coat of instant activator to the first hand and let it dry. Step 12, you want to use a dry wipe and wipe the surface of the nail. 12B, you now apply the bond gloss to the first hand. The first coat should be applied in two to three quick you know, brush strokes and very thin. Don't worry about getting too close to the critical areas or capping the edges at this moment. Back to me, hoping that I didn't burn a bridge I couldn't. Then step 13A, you want to wait for 15 seconds. Then you want to continue on the same hand and apply a slower, more detailed second coat of the bonding gloss. Do not overbrush as it may have an effect on the overall shine. 
13b you want to repeat the steps 11 through 13 on the second hand then the last and final step after nails have been air dried for one to two minutes apply cuticle oil and hand lotion to moisturize so this is what my nails look like I did go in with a second coat uh, because it wasn't opaque how I want it, how I need it to be, but it kind of got a little thick or just a little clunky when I was putting in the powder, but it like I needed a second coat. But the whole big emphasis on this product, it color changes, so let's go see if this product really changes from hot to cold and changes the color. It's pretty warm in my room that I'm doing this in, so I should just be able to turn the water on to cold and it will change the color instantly. With the green, it kind of changed to a light to dark, kind of see that little variance a little bit. But with the uh, peach to pink, it didn't really change to pink really. And even if I put my hand in the freezer or hold something really cold, it didn't really change um, as fast as uh, some of other color changing products I have used before. There was a slight, little bitty slight uh, color change. So that was all a little disappointing because this whole product, why I got it was because it color changed and it didn't really color change as much as I wanted. It didn't have that payoff. And I was really excited about that peach to pink color. It didn't change for me. When I did it, it didn't really change. And I, that was disappointing to me when I did my nails in this whole process. But since I have these on, I think I'm going to try and do this 21 day wear test and see how it is for 21 days. And each day I'll tell you how, I'll uh, give you some updates to see how that is. So hello guys, a little bit of a problem. It has been um, a couple of hours since I had put the powder stuff on my nails um, and I wanted to see a wear test for the 21 days that they said it's last but I, have, I got finished with them like at 4 and it's like around 7 8 o'clock now and I have to say like my nails hurt like this pinky nail right here it hurts um, when you just, just put pressure on it or anyway it just hurts a lot and they just all like look a little big and a little wide and it could just been my kind of error in this whole process but um it hurts and i don't think i can do this 21 day nail test and i might take them off right now i just don't like the feeling on how much it hurts in a way and how wide it looks and how unnatural it looks so my final thoughts on this product it was easy instructions it was easy to do and it was pretty affordable like you see in the previous cup I like I had to take these nails off because it was like just really burning and I, uh, I didn't feel great on my nails and especially on my natural nails it was like really thick and um, I don't know if this buffer was really buffing enough for me to get it that slim look shape onto my nails and I know I dipped it in for two times which uh, that's probably a cause as well why it's a little thick but it was also too thin and I didn't want to see my natural nails underneath this product for me it was just okay but it was really fun to do and I really like doing these types of videos to test all these products out for you guys so take my words to your own accord it could be definitely different for you and your nails and all of that so Thank you so much for watching this video. Go down below and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel as well. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you back next week with an awesome video. Bye.